have a good discussion and about our beautiful memory attitude to international school. So um, our group members are Lisa, uh, Joshua, Nicole, and Miss Taylor. Uh, so hope you enjoy our group discussion. So uh, firstly, uh, Nicole, could you please talk about a uh, school orientation day that you had this uh, this in this year? Well, uh, I think it was pretty fun to be at since uh, we get to meet uh, other students from online and also from other classes uh, other than uh, we should because like uh, because the school started before uh, the school started after the uh, school orientation day and uh, it was uh, and like uh, we also had uh, we also had like, a lot of chance to make friends with uh, other lot of people and and like uh, there was also a lot of uh, lots of snacks for us to eat. Uh, when when we were hungry during the event, and like uh, there uh, what I say, the teachers also ask uh, lots of quizzes and questions about general knowledge, either uh, about other uh, other types of uh, uh, topics too. So which was pretty fun to be at since they also gave us prizes if we uh, if we could answer one question like uh, a bag from teacher Sue. So yeah, and and like uh, there was also a school theme song that. The uh, teachers made just uh, just a few months ago, I think. I'm not pretty sure though. But uh, but like, I think it's pretty fun to listen since uh, teacher Mia sang it, and I really love her voice. And uh, she also wrote a uh, uh, pretty good lyrics. But um, but like uh, I don't really like it since it's not the type of song I really listen to. Either I like to sing to, and and yeah. Okay, so um, I would like to know is how about your uh, school fast day? My first day. Yeah. Well, uh, I think it was fun to be at as usual, but uh, I think it was also a bit scary since uh, since like uh, I meet I uh, I have to meet a lot of new people that I've never seen before in my entire life, and uh, and like uh, there are. Uh, but like we slowly became classmates and into friends to best friends uh, after a while, and, and it was pretty fun to be there. But I think it was it will be a uh, hundred scary for other people too, since they're uh, some of them are shy. Either some of them don't know how to start a conversation with others. So uh, what about still? What's your uh, was it uh, was an event that you you had this year? Okay, uh, I guess the uh, the first event would be a uh, school sports day. So uh, for the school sports day, uh, we got a lot of fans and uh, like uh, we can, how to say, there is a lot of competition, there was a lot of uh, competition that we can participate or we can join and it was really fun and like we we can get uh, like the prizes uh, if we win and like teach, teacher Su is, uh, she, she also gave us uh, like a as price, uh, which is uh, gold or silver or other more. So uh, if we win, if we won, or we would, uh, we get prizes. And the best thing would be uh, I met a lot of friends uh, who are from um, online and also campus too. And they are really, uh, how to say, they are really friendly with other each other. And we also took status too. And okay, so for the uniform, we have to wear uniform when we go to school, right? So uh, we have to wear uniform. Uh, so I would like to um, how to say I would like to say uh, about uniform that in my in my opinion uh, our uniform is the color is white, so which is a really clean color. And um, but the uh, the disadvantages would be it is really can get daddy right because that is white color and um, it is uh, a little bit thick, uh, which is uh, can protest the winter or other cold seasons. And it is suitable for any weather. And it is suit uh, for students because it is white color. But I said uh, before, you can get study easy. Um, okay. So like uh, I also agree with you since uh, it's white and it looks pretty neat and tidy to students and it's also appropriate for uh, young uh, younger kids too, like for P1, P2. And uh, I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty uh, cool since like it's white. But like like just like you said, uh, uh, since it's white, it can get easily. Uh, it can easily get dirty, and uh, we cannot uh, wash off the stain uh, easily. And uh, I would recommend them to also like uh, give us skirts or trousers, with, uh, also with a uniform, so that uh, it will be uh, so that like, it will be great for us uh, for us to wear. Uh, for us to wear, and the uniform will look pretty cool. So yeah. 
So Stella, what are your ideas on another event that happened this year? Well, uh, the another event would be a school festival, and in my opinion, uh, that school festival was a uh, really the best the best event uh, in the school, and that we participate. And uh, I got a lot of experience, and uh, also I met a lot of new friends who are from uh, online or campus group. And also I took pictures uh, with students, other classmates, and also teachers. And uh, the best thing is uh, in, in that uh, science festival would be we also got knowledge from uh, that festival, uh, like different subjects. And um, most of students uh, did their best on their uh, about their project, and they can explain they they can explain uh, really well uh, about their object. Uh, sorry, uh, project. <laughs> and like um, there were a lot of entertainment, like singing or dancing. And I saw like most of children or most of students uh, they dance really well on the stage, and like they did it like a. They don't think there is a scary thing, so uh, I really appreciate about that. And like uh, most of students did their uh, project really well, so I saw most of our projects are really good for our uh, our level or our uh, knowledge. It is I got a lot of knowledge uh, in, in that kind of event. Uh, so Joshua, what about your idea on an event that happens this year? So uh, there was a, a event which is the Nature Ceremony. So like for the digital ceremony, all the students, uh, including me, were exposed to when in my traditional clothes and thanks to the teachers. So yeah, I did thanks to the teacher and also wore the Myanmar traditional clothes. Okay, so Tashwan, uh, I would like to know is uh, what is your favorite subject and teacher? Who is your favorite teacher and why? So my favorite subject is math because I like to do business and I and I also like to cook. So for my favorite teacher is teacher Ella because she is the one who controls the class and like, every time we get in a trouble, she is the one who always stands for it. So Lisa, what do you like about your C, your school CEO and your class CEO? So um, what I like about my CEO and Foundation Sue is that she gives scholarships to her students if they get high marks in important class, like in engineering. So she gives scholarships to her own classes that she opened. And I got once, and also for my class teacher, teacher Ella, I learned about how she always tells students ways to improve, like like every day. And also sometimes she tells histories of Myanmar. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Lisa, I would like to know is who your who is your best friend and why? So um, your activity. so um yes. Um, I have attended school for almost a year, so I have um, three best friends by now, and they are Nico, Stella, and Lumi. For Nico, she is kind of helpful. She would sometimes explain me um, problems in the class books. And for Stella, she is very kind. And for Yumi, we have similar things that make us best friends. So like, but we are, each, each of the best friends, we didn't get to be in a group like on my favorite activity because like we choose random people and my favorite activity is um, doing role plays because role plays is very fun and we get certificates if we win. We do it from our class book so it also affects our learning too. So um, we go in front of the classroom or do it outside. And yeah. And uh, thank you for listening to our group discussion and have a good day. Bye -bye.